Hi yo folks, this is Max from uh, Epic Touch, Epic, Epic 4G Touch Root.com. I've got a review of uh, my UI, MUI, MIUI ROM, uh, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of different pronunciations for it. Anyway, uh, I haven't actually reviewed this. I've actually reviewed this uh, my UI. Uh, I'm just calling it MIUI. MIUI ROM for other uh, phones like ACC, both 3D and a bunch of others. Um, this one is a, like a completely stripped out, um, it has its own like, you know, operating system, um, which is the MIUI. And it, it runs this one, let's go look at it. Settings, um, system, about phone. This one is running to Android 2.3.7. Um, I've actually ran it on Android uh, Ice Cream Sandwich also, which because it's running on MIUI, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty much um, its own operating system, that's what I would call it. Because everything's different, um, let me, even the settings, let me show you the settings, see how you have personal system programs. Um, and uh, some of the things that's not working on this ROM is 4G WiMAX, so if you don't live in a uh, y, if you don't live in a 4G WiMAX area, this would be a good uh, ROM to have. And if you don't mind having 3G, um, the good thing about having just 3G is that your battery will last longer. Um, you can try this ROM, and you can always switch to another ROM, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I've covered a lot of this stuff about the MIUI ROM. Um, there's the TouchWiz like feature where you can do that. There's a lot of like stuff that's they added on to um, this ROM. Um, this is not really my daily driver, but I'll just go over it because some of you might like it. Um, so there are there is the settings. Um, also, you get the uh, folder options. You can put a um, bunch of apps in a folder, just like ICS. Um, let me give you. Let me see. Is that the monitor? There's the monitor. This thing is pretty cool. If you're um, if you're on some other network, I know Sprint's unlimited, but if you're on, on like um, limited, if you have a limited plan, then what you can actually do is uh, set uh, how much. You know how much data you're gonna use, and you can actually make your data turn off so it doesn't charge you, which is a cool feature. Um, if you're on a limited plan, I know a lot of Asian carriers are uh, limited, um, unless you buy the unlimited. So it's a great way to uh, limit your data. You know, and uh, but it's pretty much useless on Sprint. Yes. Um, system date and settings, USB settings. Um, the main part about this MIUI ROM for any phone in general is that um, it has a themes app. <coughs> Bless me. Anyway, um, I think I I sneeze like every five videos. Is that my average? Anyway, theming is a big part of this uh, ROM because. MIUI ROM is actually a ROM that exists for many other phones and um, you know the themes are compatible so long as uh, you have uh, MIUI ROM so you can download all these ROMs free ROMs like you know there's a ton of ROMs you can download and actually I'm downloading a couple just to show you um, so you can theme it really nicely and I, I don't know what this DND oh DND mode is cool you can like block people from calling you like send them straight to your your voicemail or just you know oh yeah let's actually take, take a look at this enable firewall firewall settings um anti-stranger mode keyword spam filter um those are actually kind of cool options so there there is some really cool things you can do on miui um that you can't do on other roms uh, and you might need it you know like the data feature i was just, just talking about also there's a sound recorder um Torch, yes. Yay, torch works. Um, oh, cool. There's a strobe. Hey, party apps. I can't do this strobe. Um, so it's, it's a really, really, um, it's, it's got a unique a personality, you know, in short. And uh, also there's no app drawer. You, there's no app drawer. You're, Thing, when you add apps, it'll just get added to the next screen. And I believe there's uh, more than five screens once you add more apps. Oh, can you do that? 
Yeah, you can't get out. Oh, maybe you can't. What is that preview? Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can add more stuff, more windows. I think up to 12 last time I tried. Okay, maybe nine. Oh, no, you can add more. Let's see how many you can add. More screens, more screens, more screens. Oh, yeah. Epic mealtime stuff. More screens, more screens. Oh, my God, it's like unlimited. How many can we go here? Okay, it limited. No? There's even more. So, that's a really cool feature. And also, if you hold down the home button, um, you get the task manager, app manager, task killer. Um, this is okay. And also, let me show you the lock screen real quick. So, the lock screen is really cool. And there's also a bunch of MIUI lock screens you can get. I mean, this this thing is just very... Oh, my God. Look at, look at how many windows I have. Um, I didn't mean to do that. But you can easily get rid of those. I forgot, how do I get into this? Oh, preview, there we go. You can easily get rid of those. You know, it's gonna take me a while. Um, so, it's a, it's got its own, you know, complete OS. It's just a rebuilt um, user interface. Think of it as um, Gnome in Ubuntu and, you know, uh, what was that other one? You know, there's those different graphical things. So, Overall, this is a really good ROM. It actually runs pretty fast, um, fast as any other ROM, especially on this Epic 4G Touch. It runs just flawless. The only thing, again, is you don't have 4G, and as long as you don't have, uh, if you don't mind the 4G, not having a 4G, it should be fine. And the camera works fairly well. well let me see if, um, let me show you the camera. It's got, I think, its own uh, features. So you got color effect. Oh, the anti-shake is pretty cool on this since you have anti-shake. And what is the screen shutter? I, I'm not sure what that is, but it does have that feature. Um, let me show you the front camera here. Front camera. <coughs> yeah, let's take a photo of my shirt. Yeah. And let's go look at the video camera. Yeah, so the the um, the camera gives you more options, well, different options over the Samsung um, camera. Um, settings, you can do 1080p, yeah, of course. Continue focus, that's good. So I think the, uh, well, you can do that on the regular one too, so. Um, so this, <clears throat> this couple of different things you can do. Color effect, screen shutter, uh, what is screen shutter? Um, I know some of you will educate me on this, so I'll leave it up to you. Other than that, you know, you can take video. Uh oh, what happened? I think I have to take that off. Um, the camera is sometimes a little bit iffy, as you can see. No, but if you restart it, it should be... Uh oh. Okay, the camcorder is not working. Um, oh, you know what? I heard... I heard people saying that it actually works, it just it doesn't show you in the screen. But what's the point of having a camera that doesn't work? So, so we found another problem with the camera. Um, but other than that, it's a completely usable ROM. It's a very good ROM actually, um, if you like themes. And uh, let me show you the theme real quick. You can switch, the coolest thing is that you can switch themes. Download all these themes free. Um, let's do the black ice, this should get us into um, ice cream sandwich, like instantly. Um, <clears throat> so, we got ice cream sandwich, sort of, um, and then let's go check out some of the, let's go set, check out the, um, actually the, the dialer, so you get the ice cream sandwich dialer, um, and then let's go back to the themes again, and let's try another theme, let's try this one, this one looks like a Windows 7 theme, so, you know, you can you can show your friends that oh, this is my new Windows phone. You know, it's kind of fun, right? No? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, okay, well, this doesn't look like a Windows phone. But let's go look at the dialer. So you get a different dialer, different everything. And the toggles are really cool on the MIUI. I really love the fact that they put everything here. And you get the notifications, uh, which is really nice, handy for, um, you know, doing a bunch of stuff. 
So this is a very good ROM that you can uh, theme. You know, main thing is it's theme, and if you don't mind the 4G. And also another good thing is there's a um, there's a backup uh, app that allows you to make a backup of the MIUI stuff. That if you have another phone with MIUI, uh, or you get a, another phone and you want to keep using it, and you can back it up and you know move all your settings and your themes to the new phone with MIUI. So those those are kind of cool. Anyway, um, that was a short review of the well, it got kind of long the uh, MIUI ROM um, for the Epic 4G Touch. I personally don't like it that much, and I don't use it. Um, but there are some really cool features I have to admit. So it might appeal to some of you guys. Anyway, if, you, if it appeals to you, try it out. Uh, I'll have more ROM reviews coming um, shortly. And uh, leave comments if you want me to review anything. Alright, see y'all later. And subscribe. And don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot. Alright, see y'all later.